Hello, this is Mr. Agbamu. In this video, I want to show you how you can use the Sigma notation in a PTC MathCard Prime 3.0. And I'm going to show you how the Sigma notation works as you move on. You can go through this statement I have here. I'm just trying to tell you all the important things we have about a Sigma notation. But what I just want to demonstrate here is this. I want to demonstrate all this explanation we all have here. When you have the summation symbol and the expression you want to sum. For example, the expression here is n. And I want to sum n into the number of times I have here, which is sum n from 1 to 4. That's what we have here. It says n goes from 1 to 4. So we are going to sum, add it up from 1 to 4. So instead of solving it like this, the way we know it, this approach, why not just use the summation notation and you get your answer straightforward without solving it starting from 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, which is equal to 10. So all you need to do is just to apply the summation symbol, which is this can see it here and we said the numbers we want they are 4 so we are now adding more than 4 so 4 is the maximum we are going to get then we are defining the expression we are solving this is the expression we are solving which is n we are summing n and n is going to start from where n is going to start from 1 so we say n equals to 1 so if I put my solution here my arrow solution you see the answer will show itself which is 10 you can see straight to the point you get the result so this is how you use the summations the summation notation to get your result fast you see instead of adding 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 so this is one of one of the simplest example you can have here so take note of that okay the other one i have here is this one is talking about square. You see, we can square n each time and sum the result. So when you square n here, what are you going to get? Let's see. So the same sum, the maximum I'm going to sum up to is 4. And the expression I have here is n raised to power 2. So this is the expression we are going to sum. Then where are we starting our summation from? We are starting from n equals to 1. That we are starting from 1. And the maximum we are doing up to is 4. That means we are going to have something like this. So all I have here is 1 square. Just ignore the typing here. All I have here is uh, something like this. 1 square. So 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 plus 3 square plus 4 square so if you tap the equals to you can see it's giving us 30 which is this which is 30 and if I come here we have already defined it here if I put the arrow here you see the result will come out 30 so this is the summation uh, notation here you can see the result just came out straight 30 or you can do it step by step like this by starting from 1 square it n is 1 1 square plus you go to the next one 2 2 square just like that you are going to get 30 when you add all these answers here so the other example i have here is on this you can see what we have here this is on three summation when i start from 1 to this is the expression we want to simplify here so let me do it here too. So if I bring out my summation, we said the highest we are adding to is 3. And the expression we are going to add is an i. Make sure you put your times. This is product. This is times. That's what I mean by that dot. Then I have i plus 1. So where am I starting my addition from? i is going to be equals to 
1 so I'm starting my addition from 1 so if I put 1 in this I that is something like this that's what we have here 1 is I you have your 1 let me move it down a little okay so if you have your 1 multiply by you open your bracket which is saying 1 plus 1 that is the first expression plus you can see i is 1 so you start with 1 1 times open bracket 1 plus 1 that's what i have here then the next one after one we move to 2 times you open your bracket 2 plus 1 then you add it again plus the next one is 3 the, we are adding up to 3 3 is the maximum we are adding up to 3 times then you open your bracket 3 plus 1 if you tap the equals to, you see you got 20, which is the result we have here, that is 20. And if you put the arrow here, you see the result will come out 20. So this is what I want you to know. We are just doing the summation of this expression, starting from 1, substituting 1, you get your result. You add it to substitution of 2, just like that, you got 20. So if we try the next one, which is uh, this we have 5 and if you look at this very well you discover that i is i starts from 3 that means the sum is going to start from 3 so if i put in the summation here which is we are starting from we are maximum addition is 5 and this is open bracket i times i plus 1 so i should be equals to what I should be equals to 3 that means we are starting our addition from 3 so if you put the arrow head you see the answer will show itself it's giving us 53 so how do you do this addition in case you want to do it so what is happening here is you open your bracket we said I is equals to 3 so you start your addition from 3 which is from 3 to 5 that is 3 times 3 plus 1 that is the first bracket plus you open bracket again 3 it okay, will move to 4 4 times 4 plus 1 then the last one is plus you open your bracket 5 times 5 plus 1 so if you tap the equals to you see you get 53 so I just say let me demonstrate this few examples I have for you here you can actually do more you can see it here you can actually do there are a lot more examples you can do in the summation the sigma notation and it's very very interesting it depends on what you want to sum just get the expression you are trying to sum it can be maybe you want to sum for example you have a, a series in your sequence it can be a simple 246 series that's an even number series which is like 2n no even number series is just 2n so this is the expression and you know when you are summing them you know the first for 2 forces the first number there is 2 4 6 a just like that so when you want to sum them let me just give an example here if I say 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8, you can see the result you have here, which is uh, 20. So in case you can use your summation to make your work fast instead of doing it like this, why not just use the summation key here, something like this. We are adding up to this, the fourth one. 1, 2, 3, 4. We are adding up to 4. You put 4 here. Then I is what here? So I can let me use n. So n is equals to one from one to one. This the expression is two n. So if you do you tap your this, you see the answer just came out once. So actually, what you have done here is to add this even number from one, two, three, four from the first number in the even number set down to the fourth one. This is what you have done. If you wish to add, let's take, you start your addition from, for example, let's take, you start your addition from uh, 8. 
that is 8 plus 10 plus 12 plus 14 so 8 10 12 14 you can see the result is 44 that means remember 8 is the fourth number there 8 is the fourth number so we still have 1 2 3 4 that means n is not going to start from 1 let me see n is not starting from 1 in this case n is starting from 8 and 8 is the fourth number which is a 4 and this this is 4 5 6 7 then this is 7 so I think it will give us the same result you can see it I got the same result 44 since 8 8 is the fourth number in the even number series 2 4 2 4 6 8 8 is the fourth number so you start your n from your uh, summation from 4 then you are stopping in 14 and 14 is which of the number that which of the 10 14 is the seventh 10 so you are adding from 4 to 7 you can see i got the same 44 as this so it's a good thing in mathematics sigma which is a greek word and it's one of the alphabets in the greek symbol you can see it here if i bring down my greek alphabet you see my lower case in the greek alphabet you can see the sigma here this is a lower case sigma if you come to the upper case you can see the upper case here you can see sigma for upper case and this is the summation symbol we use in mathematics so this is all i have for you in this video i hope you enjoy watching my video and my friend kelvin was the one that brought up this sigma notation idea and i will just decide to explain it clearly using my video in this format so that those people that don't understand it very well they can really get what it means and i really appreciate him for bringing this uh, idea out bringing this topic out and i hope you enjoy watching this video so do have a nice day and take care